I get asked a lot of times, when is the best time in the day to enter an option trade? Is it as soon as the market opens or a couple of hours after the market opens or just before the market closes? The correct answer is none of the above. It's really all depends what we're trying to achieve. Are we trying to buy a put? Are we trying to sell a call? Are we trying to sell a put? Are we closing a position or are we opening a position? To explain what I'm trying to say, let's look at this example. This is five minute chart for Facebook on December 6th, 45 minutes after the market opens. I'm in the Pacific time zone, so this is 7.15 a.m. in the morning. Market opened at 6.30, and I can see what happened to the stock. It started to move higher right out of the gate. The stock moved strongly on the upside, trading around 3.16.10, up $9 on change for today. Let's look at option prices and see where they're trading at. As you can see, the stock is trading at 3.16.10, up a little bit over $9 for today. I'm looking on the call side, the market's moving higher. And here are the strike prices. Uh, of course, I'm looking around Delta 10. That's really what I'm interested in most of the time, 10, 12, 9, right? So I'm looking 370, 375, 380, and here where they're trading at. If I look at the stock prices, you can see the momentum is moving strongly on the upside, right? So as soon as the market opened, the stock kept going higher and higher and higher, strongly on the upside. But after three hours, here's what happened to the stock. The stock price stabilized around 7.30 my time or 10.30 Eastern time, moved down a little bit, and then it came back and it started moving higher. At 10.15 Pacific time or 1.15 Eastern time, you can see the stock moved higher by another 90 cents or so from uh, 7.15 my time, right? So the stock went up from 3.16 to 3.16.99, just about a dollar, let's say. So obviously, if the stock is moving higher still, option prices should be going up a little bit, right? Well, let's look at the option prices and let's see where they're trading at. Here we go. When the stock was trading at 3.16, 45 minutes after the market opened, you could see the 3.75, let's say, the ones with the Delta 10, was trading 182, 188. Now the stock moved higher from 316.10 to 317 almost. The 375 strike price went from 182, 188, better than ask, to 169, 171. It really went down, right? 380s, again, 151, 157, down to 140, 143. 85s, the same thing. 90s, exactly the same. The stock moved higher by just about a dollar or 90 cents, and yet the option prices started to move lower a bit. What's going on? Well, what is going on is the momentum slowed, right? The stock is going higher, truly, but here the momentum was, was very, very strong. So the minute the momentum slowed down, option prices took a breather. So even though the stock kept going higher, option prices, call option prices in this case, started to go down a bit. So let's see what happens to the stock around the close. Again, this is December 6, 2021. Here's what happened. Just around the close, the stock kept going higher to all the way to 318.40, okay? It, it, matter of fact, it even hit 320. Then just around the close, it, it's, it's trading around 318.40. So after the 316, uh, 715 my time, at 1 o'clock my time, the stock is up $2.30 from this level. So obviously now, our call option prices should be moving higher, right? Well, don't be too sure. Here we go. 316.10, this was a 7.15 my time in the morning uh, versus 318.40 around the close. Again, let's go back to 375. You can see it's trading 182, 188. Huh? About the same thing, actually a, a, a bit down. 380s about the same price, a little bit down, 385s, a little bit down, 390s, again, a tad lower, 395s, definitely lower, 400, again, a little bit lower, even more. The stock went up over $2 from the morning. So what happened? Again, the volatility started to go down. Because the momentum slowed down, the volatility went down. And if you look at the implied volatility, you could see across the board, implied volatility went down, right? The 375s we were looking at, it went down from 35.89, the implied volatility down to 34.69, and you can see across the board, implied volatility is moving lower. So this was the stock around the close. 
Here's what happened next day. This is December 7th. Market gap open above the high of the previous day and kept going higher, but not at the same momentum as it did yesterday on the 6th, right? Even though it's still moving higher to 324.24. Now we can see the stock has really moved higher from 316 to 324. The stock is up over $8, folks, right? $8. Obviously, coal prices must be higher now, right? Don't bet on it. Here we go. From 316 to 324, this is exactly 24-hour difference. In 24 hours, the stock went up from 316 to 324. Look what happened to the option prices. Here's my, here's my 375. It went down from 188 to 177. 380s went down from 151, 157 to 141, 44. Call option prices, folks, are moving lower even though the stock moving higher by eight dollars in one day do you see what's going on so imagine a person who bought this calls thinking he's betting that the price of the stock is going higher he was right the price of the stock did go higher but what happened to the price of the options nothing actually it went down right the only ones that went up are closer with the bigger delta that's why i don't deal with bigger deltas the ones with the higher deltas you can see moved up just a tad but the ones with the deltas 10 or 9s or 12s they all went down in prices or did not change much so what i'm trying to say is to come full circle and answer the question when is the best the best time to trade option it's all depending on what we're trying to do if i'm trying to sell a call this is the best time to do it, right? I want something strongly moving in, in that direction for me to sell it. If I'm selling a put, I want the market to be strongly moving down where the implied volatility explodes in the upside, and that's why I want to sell a put. If I want to buy, if I'm short the calls, I want to buy them back, I want a little bit relief. The minute the momentum slows down, the air comes out of those options. So the key here, even though we're trading following a system, paying attention to implied volatility and paying attention to the market really helps you tremendously into timing when is the best time to enter those option trades. I hope this helps. Okay, I'll see you next video.